being here for generation after generation, uh, we've actually seen Circle from its infancy. And um, living on the ridge, being a, a great big family of uh, coverts who have been here for a very long time, some very um, active people. My uncle Gene was on the Board of Supervisors for a long time. Started with some of the first families on the ridge to start this uh, type of activism, environmental activism. So uh, this activism is close to our hearts as Indian people because uh, we lived within the ecosystem before the gold rush. So humans, in our in our minds, humans are not supposed to be removed from the ecosystem. We are part of the ecosystem. We have a voice. We can speak language. And we are the voice of nature. We should be. Um, I always tease and say we have thumbs and we can make fire. Uh, we use fire to tend the land, uh, which most people probably know. That was um, something that was just done to keep the land clean so that it was safe for uh, people to traverse the land when they travel from place to place and to keep um, bugs and bad vermin off of our basket materials and our food and our medicines and uh, basically just to keep the place park-like, which is what some of the first people who came, the non-natives who came, they saw this area as a park-like setting. And uh, that is not what we have today, but the people were there tending the land. So what, what does circle mean to us as Indian people? Uh, it means a lot. I think that it's, it's important, especially after the legacy of the gold rush, that we have such toxic waters. Um, something I remember my grandfather saying when uh, we would, yeah, I was dropped off to go swimming by my friend's house who lived right on what's called Rush Creek now. And he advised us not to go in the water because the water was uh, too toxic to be in. And my grandfather was not an activist in that, in that manner, but coming from his, uh, what he'd seen in the oral history that had been passed down to him, the places were not safe to, uh, to even swim in when I was a teenager. So um, moving forward, of course, water quality is really, <laughs> really important, uh, should be to all of us anyway. I think that's what this uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival is about. I was really touched also by um, this sentence, inspire action to protect and heal the earth. And that is what Circle created this Wild and Scenic Film Festival to do is, and I love that, it's to inspire action. And the first step is just the inspiration itself, but to actually go a step further to inspire action. I think that is, um, really something that moved me and t talks to me because I don't always, I have a lot of great ideas, but I don't always get up off my tuition to do anything about it. So, um, and then to unite the community to protect and restore the Uber River, which is Circle's mission statement, or their, their mission. Um, and so the Wild and Scenic Film Festival is their largest fundraiser for Circle. And it, and it allows them, funds from these fundraisers allows them to do that good work. So two of the things that they would like to be passed on tonight. Um, let's see here. Okay, as you know, Circle is a river, river advocacy organization. And there are two ways you can take action to protect the Yuba River during this festival. Speculators want to reopen the San Juan Ridge mine, which could harm the Yuba. Please fill out the water is more precious than gold postcard to tell the Nevada County Board of Supervisors not to mine our water. <laughs> Most of you probably know that Yuba salmon are in jeopardy of extinction. Circle is determined to save them. Please fill out this. Please out fill the. Please fill out the damn postcard. <laughs> damn. Damn postcard. And return it to any circle booth. Circle hopes to collect at least a thousand postcards during the festival and hand deliver them to the senator's Feinstein and Boxer. Uh, let's demand strong leadership in Washington D.C. to restore wild salmon. So please be aware of where your exits are. I think everybody can hear me. A um, little more housekeeping here. Uh, Circle would like to thank their 800 volunteers that helped make this happen. And please cast your ballots for People's Choice Awards up until the end of the films on Sunday afternoon. Look for boxes in the lobbies of the venue and at the festival headquarters. The People's Choice winner will be announced on Sunday night at the Nevada Theater. Um, they're showing up this year's award-winning films. All right, so I think we can go ahead and um, start our first film.
strangely enough, um, I know someone in this film, and I, I got to pre-screen the film, so I've already seen them. Um, it's a wonderful film about women and climate change, and so I think we'll just go ahead and jump right into that. Following um, 